Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, Phil'sGang.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is July 1, 2022. Well, this weekend is going to be July 4th weekend. I think the most asked question will be, what do you think the market's going to do around the barbecue pit? I really do. I think that's what everybody's going to be asking. Well, I'm going to give you an answer that you can use. You're going to look pretty smart, but it's going to be really accurate. Before I do that, I want to show you something. Take a look at my computer. We all know that the economy is a three-legged stool. Under Trump, whether you hate him, despise him, he gave us a great economy, and that three-legged stool was solid. Under Biden, you got to be kidding me. The stool is cracking. It's falling apart. And he's blaming everybody except himself. Listen what he said yesterday. You know, Trump did not leave a very good situation. You think I'm kidding? See how he got defensive? When he said that, the crowd started to laugh because they thought he was making a joke. Because everybody knows the difference between Trump's economy and his economy. It was just unbelievable what's going on. That's why they laugh. So back to the question, what do you think the market's going to do? Here, I'll show you. This is the stock market. Now, if you recall, in the stock market, we had a we had a 30% crash. They called it the pandemic crash, but it had nothing to do with the pandemic. It had to do with yields were too high. We dropped 30% between January 2020 and February 2020. 30% and it stopped. Turned around and rallied right back up 30%, back even again, and went up 124%, and then everything stopped right here. That was the tech stocks. Why is that? Because the tech stocks, remember, for 14 years was working in an environment of QE, where they would print trillions of dollars, buy treasuries to drop interest rates to zero, and that's the environment in which tech stocks do well. Well, by then, Biden has created a mess. Gasoline was going towards $5. Inflation was out of control. And a decision had to be made. Do they continue to do more QE, print more money, buy treasury, keep dropping interest rates to zero, so they can continue the upward trend that they had? The decision was, of course not, because if they did that, gasoline would be at $10 instead of $5. They couldn't do that. And secondly, they decided, well, let's just take the banks and we'll bet on the banks. The banks should be able to carry the economy. No, that didn't work out either, because the banks... Usually, they love high interest rates because they make money on high interest rates. But with the terrible inflation and the cost of food, gasoline, add that to the, and, uh, the rates going up and the payments going up on our car and credit cards and everything else, they can't handle it. So the market collapsed. All you have to tell your folk when you, folks when they ask you, what do you think the market's going to do? You're going to say, it depends on how many stocks are in the S&P 500 of them are over their 250-day moving average. That means support lines right here. See them? Support. Right here, if I draw you a little chart here, do this. You see right here, 80% of the 500 stocks were above these two lines right there. That's what creates a rally. When they drop down to where they are now, around 10, 20%, the market dropped. And then the rally continued. Went a little bit lower. We started to get to around 70%. Rally continued. But then, because no longer could they use the tech stocks to drive the market through low interest rates, the tech stocks dropped. Why? What happened? Well, people were selling their stocks instead of buying their stocks. And all of a sudden, look over here, we had only 40% of the 500 stocks above their moving average. Then 20, and now we're down to, if we average them both, about 18%. You can't drive this market back up unless you get back to 75%. Who knows that? <laughs> Guess who? Powell. Here's what he said today. The economy is being driven by very different forces, and we know that. 
What we don't know is whether we'll be going back to something that looks more like or a little bit like what we had before. He's talking about going back to zero rates again to start moving up the tech stocks to go back to creating an environment. They would move the tech stocks back up. Know what that proves? He's in deep trouble. So, again, have fun July 4th. Enjoy yourself, even though lemonade's up 22% higher than it was last July 4th. And don't forget, your favorite, your favorite pork and beans are up over 33%. Chicken breast, 33%. Ground beef, 40%. Unbelievable, isn't it? So just remember, the market cannot rally, can, cannot stop this crash until we get what we see back here. 70% of 500 stocks above that moving, these moving average. How do you do that? You need good policies. You got to get rid of this inflation. But his policy is the environment. With an environment policy, that's all he thinks about. That's priority. This market is going to go much lower. Have a great July 4th. See you on the charts.